Hello there, in this video we'll be teaching you gradients, shines and shadows. I'm going to be using this parrot to demonstrate. You can learn how to draw this in my previous video. I'm gonna start by just adding a main color to the beak. You can do this by using the color wheel, or if you want an exact color, you can use this color picker tool. Click and drag it over the color you want to pick. Then click to apply. Now, I'll select the bottom beak and add the same color. As you can see the top of the beak is a slightly lighter orange, this gives off a rounded effect. To get this effect, we'll use the fill tool. Drag in the direction you want the gradient. Now we can change the color on each end by selecting these circles. Then for the top half, I'll take this lighter orange color. You can use this slider to adjust where you want the gradient to be. And then you can also move these points around. And now for the body, we'll take the red from the bottom. And then apply the gradient. It has a vertical gradient so we'll draw the line going up. Then take that top color and adjust the slider. Now I'll just add some color on the nose and feet. You can also practice adding gradients here as shadows. For the eyes, we'll start with simple colors. Then if you look closely, we have a rounded gradient on the eye. First I'll just add a gradient on the pupil, as it gives a nice effect. Then for this part, if you go to this drop down at the top, you can choose from different types of gradients. We'll choose elliptical. The darker part here is only on this edge. So we can move this around until we are happy, and we can drag these handles too. Now we'll do the same thing with the outer eye. I've gone a bit too dark so I'll just adjust the sliders. And I'll use this red color for the wing. For the tail, we have a three color gradient. Start off the gradient is normal. I'll use the color picker to get these colors. Then simply click along the line to add another color. We also still have these sliders that we can adjust. For some extra detail, let's add some shine to the beak. For this, we'll use the pen tool. For a full tutorial on the pen tool, see my previous video. First I'm just gonna add these curves here. Hold shift to select both curves and change to a light color. I'll move this one up a little.
go to layer effects and add a Gaussian blur. Then adjust the slider. And now it looks more like a shine. We can also adjust the opacity to make this less prominent. Right now this is just a shape on its own. But if we drag it into the beak, it stays inside. Let's also add a shadow to the belly. First I'll create this curve here. Then just close it. It doesn't matter what this part looks like because it'll be hidden anyway. For the color of the shadow, I'll take this red and make it a little darker. Then, I'll take it inside the body like we did with the beak. I just want to make some adjustments. And now I'll add a Gaussian blur here, too. Now we have a nice shadow. I hope this video has helped you learn about gradients, highlights and shadows. For more videos on how to use Affinity Designer features, please subscribe. Also let me know in the comments if you need any help or would like to request a video.